don't look like it's actually doing the crimping like it's supposed to. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Beautiful day, Southern Illinois. I'm taking out the new NS, the Coyote. I'm gonna try something totally, totally new. I'm gonna try this Buffalo system for food plotting. So I borrowed a crimper. It's not really a crimper, but it, it, it should work. I'm gonna have to walk the fields for deer fawns before I crimp it. But let's just see how it goes. Join me. All right, let's roll. <laughs> all right this is my idea all right and there she is that actually went pretty smooth like all right and we're off uh, i forgot to spray with bug spray dang it i'll do that quick and then we'll head out something swimming out there looks like a snake on the pond The floating one, if they float, they're venomous. If they sink, they're just a water snake. You ain't gonna be able to see it, but it looks like he went under, which tells me it's probably a water snake. Don't tell Sharon. Of course, she don't swim in the pond anyways, I do. All right, the problem I see here is uh, it's so much weed grass in here. Uh, I know my other plots look a lot better. So, I mean, you could see the wheat sticking up and or oats, but there's so much weed grass mixed in. I mean, I guess I'll try a run. This thing, see what it does. I mean, it's laying it down pretty nice. Show you. But that ain't enough. That ain't gonna be enough to kill off the weed grass. I guarantee that. I guarantee it. So let's find a better plot. Yeah, no problem. Keep me posted if anything exciting comes up. Yeah, we'll do. Sounds good. All right. Take care. All right, All right, yeah, bye. Okay. All right, so I decided to try this on the corn, uh, the old corn stalks, and it looks like it's doing a number on them really nicely. I mean, they're really nice and dead and dry. Alright, here's a look at uh, one of my fall plots from last year. You can see the grains in here. The shorter ones 
I'm not positive, might be wheat, and the taller ones, uh, oats. Um, I also have cereal rye in here. But you can see, you know, you can see them, they're all heading out nicely. But for our purpose, uh, we're trying to mend the soil. We're gonna put buckwheat in here. So uh, I don't know if the cereal rye is mixed in. I mean, I'm not an expert on identifying them. Like, like this one here. I don't know if that's just, I mean, this is what they harvest. You know, if they let them go for another three, four weeks, then they'll harvest them. But we're trying to improve this ground. All right, I'm on to another plot now. Here's kind of how it looks with before and after with the crimper. Man, we got some serious washouts here. So man, I can't tell you how good it feels to be back out in our own fields and our farm. I mean, we've been busy with uh, Project 291 which has basically consumed all of my available time and energy, of course. But with the new, uh, the new NS6010 is just a treat to operate. I do miss the hydro, and it makes things a lot easier. So I've been putting it to work on our uh, home farm here in Illinois quite a bit lately. But it was a treat to operate that NS with the hydro with this particular uh, implement. The It's supposed to be a crimper, but it's actually called a chopper. But I think it's going to work. So definitely stay tuned to follow this. I'm, I'm reinvigorated for food plots thanks to Phil and Curtis. They both kind of helped nudge me in the right direction. So we've made a lot of big progress in the last couple weeks. So this is going to be one of my experiment fields. You can see this one's a lot cleaner. As far as the grass weeds go. So I'm going to go ahead and crimp this and not spray it. And I'll take each plot one at a time and see how they work. Don't look like it's actually doing the crimping like it's supposed to. Maybe that's why a real crimper costs like five or six grand. Because they actually like cut. They're sharp, they crimp. This one is it's actually made for something different. But uh, I may go over it twice and see how that goes. Back again after a while. All right, so being that this is my first time ever trying the buffalo system where you crimp and you drill, I'm going to kind of experiment. So some of these plots I'm going to crimp first and then I'm going to borrow Curtis's drill and some of them I'm going to leave them standing and drill them first. I guess the preferred method is to drill them first while the plants are standing, but it also depends on how thick your stuff is because if you got a really, really thick field of the annuals that you're crimping and you got like a three or four inch mat that you're crimping, then it's harder to drill underneath that and you're going to sink that seed way down. None of my fields are actually that thick, so it's going to be a fun experiment, so definitely stay tuned. I'll document it as we continue along. So thanks for joining us. So there you can see the lane pretty clearly. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try. 
try to run it twice. I tried to go this way and that didn't work.